Hello Aquarius viewers. Today I'm going to be looking into what your person is thinking, feeling, and more importantly, what they're wanting out of this connection. So, for my Libra viewers, what's going on with this connection? What is going on with this connection? And again, this could be an ex, it could be a current partner, it could be somebody new. It's, it's you know, however the cards play out. We'll see what the story is. Okay. Got seven cards there. That's seven, yep. The tower, all right. Major life changes, the seven of wands. So it's kind of like you were fighting for something and you stopped. Like you were defending your territory. You were really fighting for something and you just kind of stopped fighting for it. You just, you gave up that fight or you've, you've been giving up that fight. It's like you can't really do it anymore. You just want to get into this energy of um, just letting things flow to you. You don't want to keep having to fight for everything in your life. You want things to just be easier. And I feel like that was meant to be reversed. I feel like the Empress is actually meant to be upright because this is the energy that you're coming into. Three of Wands. Three of Pentacles. The Devil. Which I do feel like drug or alcohol or some type of addiction here so that makes sense but you are coming out of this energy and i think that it's just a process going through these addictions so i don't think it's it's a um, long-term energy let me see what this card is three of wands okay couldn't tell <laughs> okay so for me in like looking at this reading i feel like this is you struggling to let something go you you had that tower moment this could be like cheating or this could be some sort of truth being revealed it's like these sudden overnight changes this could be a breakup it's just something that just came in really quickly and that you might have seen it coming for a while you might not have but it just it came in in such an intense way it was like you could no longer ignore it and you know you were with this other okay let me get that from under the table that card was gone just like you were gone from this situation it was out it was like peace out i'm done <laughs> um with the seven of wands reversed it's like you were fighting for something really hard and this could have been a relationship that was not the best for you it's like you were fighting and you're fighting but there was the, these red flags and part of you was like no i don't want to do this so you you gave up that fight with the, with the seven of wands reversed you you gave that up you're like i don't want to do this I want to get into my empress energy. I want to be the queen and the goddess that I am. I want to manifest the love that I deserve. I don't want to keep doing this with this situation. Um, I want more for myself. I want more for, you might have kids or a family. Because I sense something else. I sense, like, I at first I heard I want more for myself. And then I heard I want more for my kids or I want more for for my family. Or I want something like that. Like, I want more for... My friends, something, something of that sort. So it's like you just, you want more. You don't want to do this anymore. You're like, I'm done with this fight. This is a futile fight. I don't want to do it anymore. Um, so you're in this empress energy. You're in your queen energy where you're, see how relaxed she is. She's like, nah, I'm good. I'm not doing that. I'm not, we're not doing that anymore. I'm good. I'm powerful. I'm strong. I'm independent. I want more from life. You know, we have this skull over here and she's, she's not looking at it anymore. She's not, she's like, you know, that, that situation is dead and it hurts and it sucks, but it's dead. And I'm not going to keep watering dead flowers anymore. I want more out of life. And, um, you know, it's, it's painful. It's a painful process for sure. But you are such a strong person that you're doing this. You know what I mean? And you have, I feel like the, the next week or two is kind of a struggle because you're going to have days where you just break down and this just hurts. It still just hurts. It's still, you're trying to be strong, but it still hurts so much. But on the other hand, it's like you have this skull in your hand. And on the other hand, you have this, what is that? It's like, it's power. When I, when I look at it, I don't even know what that thing is. It's coming out of the water in this picture, but it's, to me, it represents power and strength and courage and bravery. And it's like, you know who you are, you know what you want. 
and you know that you deserve more. So you're really in your power. And with the Three of Pentacles here, it's like you're really focusing on yourself. You're focusing on your projects and hobbies and career and the things that you want out of life, the things that are, are going to make you happy. So you're moving on from an old dead situation, but you do have the devil energy. So there's times when you get drunk or you do drugs or you... um might have some defense mechanisms or just some kind of toxic coping ne mechanism, but it's like we all have that sometimes. You know what I mean? It's normal. It's part of being human. Um, and sometimes you just have to go through the shadow work. You just have to go through the dark night of the soul and um, go through that process. So it's a lot of mixed energy. It's a lot of confusion. It's like on one hand, you're such a strong, confident person, and you're like, you know what? I know I deserve more than this. And on the other hand, you're sad and you're really hurt. And so it's, it's kind of almost creates like this conflict and confusion inside of yourself. And once in a while, you, you, you know with the Three of Pentacles there that you want to um, focus on yourself and your career and your hobbies. But there's also this part of you that just wants to escape and just wants to not have to be strong and independent all the time. You just want to be able to let somebody in. And not have it be so hard and so painful all the time. And with the devil here, um, it's like it might be some, you know, drinking or drugs or whatever that you're kind of using to to try to escape from this pain. It's like you don't want to have to be in that energy where you have to be the strong and the confident and the solid one all the time. You want to be taken care of and loved yourself for a change. You don't want to have to always do all the work like you have been. This group that I'm channeling, it's like you guys are very strong and independent, but it's like you're tired too. Like on a soul level, you are tired. You don't want to have to keep doing this to yourself. You're tired of it always being the same shit. And when it is, when these men or women always mess you up or, or screw you over, it's like you... And you try to tell yourself, you know what, like the next one might be better. Like I, I deserve more. It's okay. I'm going to do me. But it hurts deep down. You know what I mean? And and so, you know, you might have to go through this dark night of the soul where you really have to process these emotions and you have to allow yourself that vulnerability. You have to allow yourself to just be human and feel what you feel. It's normal to need love. It's normal to need commitment. It's normal to need connection. You know what I mean? Like we're humans. We're we're hardwired to to need that closeness and to need that kind of love and, and closeness. And you can't just you can't do it all on your own forever. At a certain point you just break. Um, so this reading is kind of talking about your your back and forth struggle that you're going through. But with the Six of Swords, you you do come through this dark night of the soul as a new person, as a healed person. You're looking forward to the future. So let's see what this reading has to say about future love. And I get so strongly dark night of the soul for this group. So look that up. If this is if this reading is resonating with you, look up the dark night of the soul. It's kind of just this healing and purging process that people go through often before meeting the one. So look that up. It's like all the stagnant energy is being cleared out for you guys. Um, so let's let's look into that, actually. Let's look into... So what, what do you want to tell me about the dark night of the soul that these, these um, Aquarius energies are going through? I just feel this raw emotion, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful to just let yourself be human and let yourself feel. It's like... I feel like you've been numb and stagnant and strong for so long and it's like you're starting to feel again. You're starting to let yourself be human again and it's a beautiful, beautiful process that you're not fighting what you feel. You're just, you know what I mean? Like you're just starting to flow with it and I think it's it's really good for you guys. Four of Swords. You know what? I think I I think I turned this whole deck upside down. So we're gonna we're gonna put those right side up because I don't think they're meant to be read upside down. See, you've got a new start here. You do. You're going through a somewhat rough phase, but you do have a new start. I feel like a lot of you guys feel lost and hopeless, and you're just wondering, like, is love for me? Is happiness for me? Is are things ever gonna work out for me? And the answer is yes, they will. 
You are going through a purging process right now. Your guides are teaching you how to balance emotion and logic because I feel like you've gone from one extreme to the other where it's like you either let nobody in or you let everybody in. And your guides are kind of just teaching you right now how to find that balance and how to just be emotional and be yourself and um, set boundaries and just just find that that balance. It's like things were too heavy for you with the Ten of Wands. You had to put that burden down. Everything was just getting to be too much and it's time to just let yourself be human. And if you've suffered a job loss recently or a relationship loss, it's like it's 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 all for your highest good. It really is. Um, with the Four of Pentacles, I think you were just kind of kind of in like kind of like in a numb stagnant energy that you're getting pushed out of right now knight of wands two of swords queen of pentacles okay i'm gonna put these down because i don't have any room for them up here death which is good it's good in this it does not mean an actual physical death it does not mean that it means the death of something that was holding you back the death of something that was Toxic and stagnant is what it means. Angel de Lanute, which is a beautiful card in this deck. Um, this deck is called the, the Tarot de Lanute, for those that are wondering. It's a beautiful deck. It's kind of like a gothic dark deck, and I just I love it. It's beautiful. And this card specifically, this is one of those extra cards that comes up. It, it means um, the darkness before the dawn, basically, is what it means. <laughs> Knight of Swords. So you do have somebody, after you go through this healing process, you have somebody who's loyal and committed and more serious than this other person was. I feel like I feel like you got really attached to a karmic relationship and you thought that was the one for you. You were just so connected to that and you just thought that was your person. But part of you deep down knew that you were settling. Part of you was like, oh, this doesn't feel completely right to me. I feel like there might be something more out there, but it's like they, they, you know, you had like this checklist of what you wanted and they, they tried to meet most of those things. And so you're like, okay, I guess this, this works, but something fell off. And I feel like you're still a little bit heartbroken over that, but it, it wasn't your person. And so you don't need, to, I mean, you're going to be heartbroken. It's okay to be heartbroken. It's okay to process that. And I feel like you guys need to feel what you feel. You really do. You need to finally allow yourself to let go of the ego, let go of the fear and the pride and feel whatever it is that you feel. I feel like with this Four of Swords, it's like it's rest and recovery and isolation and kind of just finding yourself again. And it's like you're, you know, you see her lying down. It's almost like breaking down, crying in the bathroom or just having those moments where it's like you've been so strong for so long. And I, I get that. I get that energy with this group. It's like you guys are just so strong and so independent, but it's like you can't take the weight of the world on your shoulders all the time. And so this group is just as having those moments finally where you just break down and it's necessary. It's okay. Let yourself break down. Let yourself be human. Let yourself, you know, be emotional. It's part of the human experience. It's okay to be that way. It really is. It's, it's beautiful. It really is. If you can just see the beauty in it. Um, like the beauty in the breakdown. It reminds me of that, that song by Frofro, uh, Let Go. You know, there's beauty in the breakdown. All your stuff is going off without you. That song. Um, look up that song if it resonates. But, um, yeah, with the Four of Swords, it's like you're, you're resting, you're recovering, you're healing, you're going through this dark night of the soul. And you're recognizing this relationship was, you know, they weren't taking your feelings seriously. You guys weren't talking about what needed to be talked about. There was this silence, like you guys were not talking. Either you guys were not talking at all, or like there was like, you know, weeks or even months of silence. And it was just, you know, kind of in and out. Or you guys were talking and were, you know, kind of trying to work things out. But it's like arguments and like miscommunication and like, like just this 
conflicted energy, like where you guys are just not, you see this man that's looking away and she's kind of like sad and she's looking away too. It's like, you guys were just not meeting each other on that level. You know what I mean? Like you weren't getting each other. And with the full, you're, you're recognizing that and you're accepting it finally. You're not holding on to it anymore. You're letting go. And with the 10 of wands, it's like you have this burden on your back and you don't want to do that anymore. If you're like, that was a burden that was painful, that was too heavy, that was too much, that was too lonely, it was too hurtful, it was just not going anywhere, and you're trying your best to move on from it now. And with the Four of Pentacles, um, I almost, I almost feel like with this card, I feel like some of you are kind of trying to hold on to possessions to, a little bit more than usual because it's like you don't want to be hurt. You don't want to be heartbroken because this is such a strong group that it's like almost like when you get hurt, you're like, screw you. I'm going to do me. I'm going to, I'm, I'm good. I'm going to focus on career. I'm going to focus on this other stuff. I'm not going to love anymore, but no, you're human. You're going to love again. It's going to happen. But um, you're kind of trying to focus on the material world a little bit more now so that you don't get hurt as much, which is normal. You go through those phases. But your guides want to bring you in touch with your soul. They want to bring you in touch with who you are on a very deep level. They want you to heal and find yourself. And with the Nine of Wands, it's like there's battles ahead, but they're almost over. And with the Two of Swords, you're digging deep and you're making these beautiful soul decisions and you're not letting the past weigh you down anymore. You're really trying to work through it. And honestly, I feel like your person is coming in. I feel like this karmic was a learning experience for you. Um, I think part of you knew they weren't the one. Like, if you're realistic and honest with yourself, I think that part of you was like, this isn't fully right. Like, there's something off. There's something about the way they communicate, the way... They, I don't know why I hear the way they dress. I don't know what that's about, but for one of, that might be a specific message for one of you, the way they dress. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, there's just, it, it's like you kind of knew they weren't the one. Part of you knew that. Part of you, it was like familiar and comfortable, but part of you was like, you know what? There's, there's more out there, right? Like, this isn't all there is. There's got to be something better. Um, <laughs> And so I feel that energy. I really do. And I feel like you're getting in the Queen of Pentacles energy where you're going to be more focused on yourself and on finances and on the material world. And it's kind of a coping mechanism that you have where, where things go bad and they're painful and you try to you like block your emotions to some degree, I guess, where you try to focus on like yourself and your career more. Um but there's that that death of this old energy and this old relationship. And your guides want, your guides are calling for like major transformation with you. Like major transformation. They want you to go through this dark night of the soul. But they want you to know that you are loved and protected and guided through it. They want you to know that you're safe through it. And that it's just a necessary process that, you know, you've been strong for so long and you haven't done the healing work because you've always tried to, you've always had to be, I shouldn't say you've always tried to be because the reality is you've always had to be the strong one. You've always had to be strong and independent and take care of everything and everyone around you. And your guides want you to give that energy up and they want you to let yourself be human. And even if you are an emotional mess, a drunk emotional mess, a whatever kind of emotional mess that you are, they want you to, to allow that energy. They want you to allow yourself to just heal and to just purge and, um, and be yourself and not be stagnant anymore and not try to, you know, go, go, go and be in the survival mode that you have been in your whole, most of your life. You know what I mean? And with the angel delineate, it, it's like you're going through this, this um, shadow work and this dark under the soul. And at the end of it, you've got your knight of swords. You've got someone who's loyal and committed and in love with you in ways that this other person was not. Um, and let's see what we can get about this person. Let's see if we can get some energy on this other person. All right. So you got this nine of swords coming in. Again, this is a process. So what I feel is that first you're going to go through, um, this dark night of the soul kind of energy again. Some of you are probably like, fuck, I already went through that energy. Why am I doing that again? Um, 
I think it's just mostly that you didn't fully allow yourself to, um, to be emotional and to heal yourself. You know what I mean? Like be emotional and be empathetic and be loving for you, not for somebody else. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like, I feel like for this group that I'm channeling, it's like you guys are kind of like emotional and open, but you're emotional and open when things are going well in a relationship and then you're closed off when they're not going well. And it's like, you know what? Be a romantic and be loving and be empathetic because that's who you are. Not, not because that's, um, not, not because that's because things are going well. You know what I mean? Just be a romantic pick because that's who you are on a soul level because that's what you want. Be you. You know what I mean? It's like you, you gotta, you're going, 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 and you gotta rest. It's time to rest, finally. You're going on, you're running on empty. <laughs> so, um, all right. So this, this, this night that's coming in, that's coming in with this, this, you know, this energy that they're coming in with. What are they? What are they going to say or do? You know what? When I pick cards, too, if some of you, this could be a message for somebody. I feel like some of you are, are starting to get into Oracle and Tarot readings, and you're like, how do I pick the right card? I don't know. You you pick the card that you just, you just let it flow. Like, I don't, when I'm shuffling the cards, I just pick whatever. I'm just like, okay, this one, this one, this one, this one. I'm just in that intuitive space where I'm not overthinking it, you know what I mean? So that's a message for one of you, particularly if you're just starting to get into psychic work where it's like, just trust yourself, just let it flow, just get into that intuitive emotional flow and, and you'll, they'll be the right cards. You don't got to worry about it. You know what I mean? You don't have to overthink it. Just let it flow. Just let it all flow out and you're going to be good. Again, that's just a message for one of you. So don't, don't overthink that. That's probably just one specific person that's just starting to get into psychic work and needed that, needed to hear that message. King of Cups. Okay. And I feel the King of Cups in this reading. So when I read the cards, I read them based on the, I channel prim primarily. So when I read the cards, I read the energy. Like there's some with the Gemini reading when I got King of Cups, I was like, this is a past person who is emotional, but they're codependent. You don't want that. But when I look at the King of Cups in this reading, I'm channeling that energy and I feel good about it. I feel like it's a good King of Cups. It's it's a much more stable King of Cups than what you had before, for sure. I just realized I had the video pause, so I'm sorry if I accidentally paused while I was shuffling. I did not mean to do that. Um, I don't know how long it was paused for, so I thought it was going. I'm sorry about that. If you guys missed it, I did have a message in there specifically for somebody that needed, um, that was just getting into psychic work, and they needed to know that they can just intuitively pull the cards and they do not need to overthink it. Just pull it however you want to pull it. You can lay them all out and pull them. You can shuffle them and pull from the, like the last five at the bottom. You can just pull random ones. It's whatever feels right to you. Just, just trust yourself, trust your intuition and just let it flow. Um, again, sorry, I'm not sure where I paused that. I did not mean to do that. So just in case you guys missed that message, all right, with the King of Cups here, I feel like you have somebody who's more emotionally open and more emotionally available. And I just, I feel this, with this this group, I feel this, like, beautiful healing energy. It's like this raw emotion. I really like the energy I feel from this group. It's like this, like, this person gets you on a soul level. They get you on a deep level. It's just like, it's this beautiful past life connection that you haven't had with other people. And this is what I feel coming in for you, the King of Cups, somebody who's, this person is very sensitive, they're very empathetic, they're very open, they're very, they have a lot of experience, um, and they're just, they're very, it's like this raw passion that you guys have, and I just, I love that energy that I feel for you guys, and with the Page of Pentacles, it's like you're creating something new, like you're, you're, you're bringing this energy in. The star, you know, you have hope and you have faith despite all you've been through. Um, 
I do feel with the Five of Pentacles, there might be some financial problems that you've been going through. But with the Ten of Pentacles, I do see you getting out of that energy. You're going to be okay. You're going to be financially successful and stable. So if you've been thinking about a new career, maybe something that's more in alignment with your soul path, it is going to be successful. You are going to be okay. You are, you're going to be good. If you're doing what you love, you're going to be good. And you are a very, again, as I've said in this reading, you're a very strong, independent person. And your strength is, is getting you through, through these tough times right now. All right, let me see what else I can get. Because I do, I want to, with the cards, it's like your guides will just, and you'll notice that if you're just getting into tarot and oracle readings, your guides will just tell you what you need to know. Sometimes you'll ask a question and your guides will take over and be like, nah, this is what you need to know instead. <laughs> and they do that with my readings. And sometimes it frustrates me because I'm like, I'm trying to focus on a specific question here, you guys. Like, fuck. I'm trying to focus. I'm trying to focus on a specific answer for you guys. And they're just like, okay, these, these Aquarius viewers need to know this and this and this. And it, it does get frustrating sometimes because I do want to see this, this gang of cups that come, that's coming in for you guys. I want to know about his personality so I can give you guys a heads up. Um, but again, this is after you do some... Um, some healing work and it's it's just such a beautiful process that you guys are going to be going through because it's getting in touch with your true self it's like i see you listening to music and um and um i just i see you listening to music i see you just purging it's like you've been strong and independent for so long and it's like just let yourself be human let yourself feel those messy raw emotions it's part of the human experience think about it is life all about money and success and and whatever else it's like it's not it's really not and it's boring when life is like that you know what i mean it's like it sucks that you you're gonna fall in love it, it hurts it sucks sometimes but it's the only thing that makes life worth living. It really is. Love is the only thing. Like, love and that, that raw emotion and, you know, emotional expression and passion. Those are the only things that really make this worth it on this planet. You know what I mean? You feel it? Um, and so you're getting out of survival mode and you're getting into this process where you're just... You're being yourself. You're you're being your your guides are putting you back in touch with your true self. They're like, you know what? You don't have to take on all the burden. Let us take on the burden. Pray to us. Talk to us. Communicate with us. Whoever your guides are, whether they're gods and goddesses or angels or fairies or whatever realm they're from, communicate with them. Just just talk to them. Develop a relationship with them, and realize you don't have to do it all alone anymore. It's it's a really hard and lonely path that you guys have been on, and it's like you don't have to be on that hard and lonely path anymore. Um. All right. Okay. So, for my Aquarius viewers, please let's to end this reading. Please show me about this King of Cups because we we get it. We get that they're going through a shadow. We get that the viewers are going through a shadow phase. They're going through some heartbreak. They're going, they're being put back in touch with their, their true selves and their raw emotions. But show me what happens after that. What is going to happen after that? What kind of, um, after that healing phase, like what, what kind of love is coming in for them? Cause I want to give you guys that. I don't want to just, you know, And again, one of you needs to realize that when you pull cards, you just, it's just for one specific person that's watching this video. Um, you got to realize when you're pulling cards, you just pull them. Don't, if you're just getting into psychic work, just, just pull, just don't even worry about it. Like I just pulled those randomly and I'm like, you know what? My guides are going to lead me to the, it's going to be right. It's going to be right. You're, you're going to, it's going to work. It's, it's all going to, I'm going to put it out there and it's going to work and I'm going to tell the story and you guys are going to resonate with it. And, or the, the people that this story is for, you guys are going to re resonate with this. And, um, I'm just going to trust it. You know what I mean? Like when I do my YouTube readings, sometimes I do feel that insecurity where I'm like, oh my God, what if, like, how do I know how to do this? And it, it always resonates with people that watch it, that are drawn to it. So I'm like, I have to just trust myself. I have to just let it flow. Um, you do have a warrior coming in. You do, after you get through this dark night of the soul, you have a warrior coming in for you. And he's going to be honest and he's going to be forward about how he feels. He's not going to, he's into this raw emotion like you are. He's, 
he's going to be honest. He's, I sense, a very empathetic, sensitive, loving man. It's, it's wonderful. This is a very feminine man, and it's good, though. It's like he's... He's strong because of what he's been through, but he's he's like so honest and he's so loving and so sure of himself. And you're summoning that right now for yourself. It's really beautiful. Okay, so I feel like your guys are still talking about you. <laughs> I tried to get a, a read on this person and your guys are like, no, we're going to focus on, on you. Not on this person, we're going to focus on you. <laughs> um, you're kind of in denial about how this last relationship ended. Um, you kind of feel fragmented. You're like, why is this always happening to me? Why am I always being, like, screwed over? Why is, why? Like, why is this happening? But you're taking a risk and you're going forward with your life anyway. You're strong and you're confident and independent and you're going forward. And you're, this could be an air sign that you're going to be dating in the near future. Um, or that you just dealt with. That could also be the, what, what this is, is mentioning. I feel like it's an air sign here that you're, that, that's being, um, that we're drawing attention to and you know what like with with individual and individuality and forbidden here i kind of feel like it's it's like get back in touch with your raw motion is just what i feel from this reading you know stop getting stop being in survival mode and get back in touch with who you really are on a soul level it might be forbidden and weird to society but it's right for you so be the individual that you are and then you're going to draw on this warrior when you're you know you're 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 um being yourself and you're drawing in this warrior and he's going to be honest and you're oh, did not mean to put the denial card you're summoning this, you are, you're, with that raw passion and that raw energy and emotion, you're summoning someone who's honest and reliable and, um, committed and in this warrior energy. I just sense from both of you, I sense this, like, raw passion and emotion, and it's just, like, it's so beautiful and it's so unique. Um, sometimes I will say sometimes when I'm not getting like when the cards, when I keep asking the questions and the cards are just not, they're focusing on you and not on what I'm asking. Sometimes it's not the right time for you to know, because again, they want you to get in that raw motion for you. They don't want it to be about what a man or a woman, if it, if it's, just, if it's a cross washer, then, then, you know, man or woman, whatever, however it resonates, they don't want it to be about what someone is doing or feeling or thinking. They want it to be about you. They want you to get in that raw motion and that passion for you because it resonates for you and makes you happy you know what I mean like be a romantic because that's who you are on a soul level not because of what a man or a woman is doing or not doing it's like just be that way because that's what makes you happy you you feel me like just just it's just about being yourself it's being your true unapologetic raw self and you're gonna have messy nights when you're gonna be drinking or whatever you're doing and you're gonna break down crying and um just go with it it's time for that it's time for the purge the, the purge is coming you guys <laughs> but the purge is coming <laughs> but um you know, if this is resonating, then just subscribe to me because I am going to be doing a reading for you guys in probably about a couple weeks from now. And maybe by then we'll have some um, new energy so I can get some more updates on what this King of Cups is going to be like and what kind of energy he's going to be bringing into this relationship. So if this resonates, then, you know, do subscribe to me so that I can, you know, update you guys on, on what this energy is going to be like. But... But again, right now it's kind of focusing on you, so I'm not sure, but I'm going to see one more time if maybe they've got enough messages out here now that I can tell you guys what this gang of cups is going to be bringing in. I okay, got two cards there. I'm just going to trust it. Again, for whatever reader is watching this and wondering how to, how to do readings, you just... just Look at me. I'm just like, you know what? It's going to be right. It's going to be right. I don't know it, but I don't know what the cards are going to say, and I'm not going to overthink it. I'm just going to let it flow how it flows, <laughs> you know? And again, that's, that's about raw emotion and passion and intuition. It's like you just let it flow. You, you got it, you guys. This group that I channel, you guys hold on to the material world when things are not going well, I feel. All right, let's see what this story is.
the tower, the tower again. Okay, Three of Pentacles again. The Empress. Oh my God, how did I get the same freaking cards as before for you guys? <laughs> I think it's pointing to your story, like how it, how it's all gonna play out, is what it's saying. All right, so there's one, one last message here, I guess. So the tower, it's kind of, hmm. It's you letting go of the old patterns, for one thing. And with the Three of Pentacles, you're focusing on yourself and your creativity and your hobbies, and you're in this Empress energy. And you've got the Knight of Pentacles coming in, I feel, you know, someone who's, who's strong and loyal and empathetic and loving and grounded. And they're going to have an emotional balance. They're not going to be hot and cold in and out with you. They're going to be more balanced. And you're going to be more balanced because you've been learning how to be in this temperance energy where you're more balanced with your emotions. It's not logic or emotion. It's a mix of both. It's intuition and logic and emotion all mixed. And this is actually going to be worth fighting for. It's not going to be like the past. This is actually going to be worth fighting for. But they're going to be fighting for you. The right person is going to be fighting for you too. They're going to be matching your energy and your strength. Um, they're going to be matching your energy and your strength as well. They're going to be strong and loving and loyal like you. I feel like you've stuck it out for a lot of people that just have left you in the end. And this person is not going to leave you in the end. They're going to be strong and they're going to be sure of what they want. And they're going to be committed the way that you are. And they're going to see you as the queen of wands. And when they come in, so the queen of wands to me, it's... um. It's someone who's passionate and beautiful and independent and strong and raw and it's like you're just you or you're doing you. You're you're yes, you're going through the shadow phase and it feels dark and scary and lonely right now, but you're getting through it and you're gonna be your true self at the end of it. There is a beautiful light at the end of the tunnel. And you have to be careful with the devil energy because you do not want to sabotage this with this man or this woman. Because they might not be what you're used to. You might be like, okay, this person wants me. This person's like into me. This person is like so grounded and so loving and just they're so good. They're so sensitive and loving. Is this real? Like, are you sure? But you, you, you'll know in your soul and your heart if it's real or not. You, you will. You have to learn to develop your intuition and don't go back to old toxic coping mechanisms. Um, so, so yeah, you do have someone coming in. And again, I get a very loving, empathetic, strong, stable, experienced energy from them. So it is a good energy. I think that your guides do not want to don't want to tell you too much about this person because I feel like you have a habit of um, kind of basing whether or not you're in survival mode and whether or not you're going to be open or not based on what people are doing or not doing. And your guides want you to get to this point where you're basing it on you. Again, be romantic if you are a romantic at heart, if that's what you are on a soul level. Be open and vulnerable if that's what feels right to you. Don't do that just because of what someone else is doing or not doing. Like, they want you to just be true to yourself and be genuine, even, like, if it's not perfect, even if it's not working, it's like, just keep being yourself. Keep being that way for you, but set boundaries, of course, like be, be, you know, have that, that temperance energy where you're balanced, but, um, but do you, you're getting it back in touch with your soul and your, your child spirit and your innocence and that raw emotion and that passion. And it's so beautiful. And just let it flow. Just let your emotions flow flow, just purge, just uncross and cleanse and heal. Let it all flow. Just let it all flow is my advice to you. Um, so thank you guys for watching. And again, in a couple weeks, hopefully I will have more of a update on your King of Cups. Right now, they're just, again, your guides are, are trying to get you to focus on um, just being a romantic and being vulnerable and being loving and being empathetic and not holding on to the material world so much just just for your own sake because that's who you are as a person because that's what resonates for you on a soul level regardless of what anyone else is doing or not doing. So they want to get you in touch with that energy which is why they're not completely telling me everything that's going to happen with this King of Cups. 
But if this is resonating, you know, please just subscribe and you will hopefully in the next couple of weeks, you guys will have a, um, you know, some more input on what, on what's going on with this King of Cups energy. So, so thank you guys. Um, let me know if this resonates. Thank you guys. Bye.